questions with said sentry. <laughs> uh, that was amazing. Uh, what's up, lords? It's uh, Seth Sentry here with uh, another episode of Questions With. This is uh, episode four, and we're playing some Modern Warfare Three. And this is the um, this is the camping edition. This is where I, I grab a MK14 <clears throat> and pop a suppressor on that bitch, and then uh, and then we spawn trap the fuck out of a team, and I just camp like a little douchebag. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I was playing like this. I think we had, I hadn't hadn't had uh, a Moab in a while, and I was, you know, we we're playing this team, and they were garbage, and we had them trapped. And it's like, nah, fuck it. Um, time to uh, be a little bitch. Uh, the game after this is actually the game that I played directly after this, uh, and uh, pretty much played potentially even uh, even douchier. As you can see, I'm rolling the, the, the dual FMGs, the, the douchiest of all secondaries, and uh, I just do not give a fuck, because it's not about this. It's about the questions. Let's answer some. Straight out the gate, Nathaniel Williams asks, Rugby League or AFL? Nathaniel, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not, I don't get sports. When I was a kid, I was pretty much told what, uh, what team to follow, and it was uh, St Kilda, uh, which is unfortunate, because I've said my premiership since fucking 1966 or something. Uh, but I'm not really a, I'm not really a follower. I don't really care. But I got friends that do that um, super coach shit. So I'm, I'm always overhearing them having conversations like, "Yo, did you have McSmithy on? No, nah, no, nah, I traded him out once he broke both his legs. Oh man, it's too bad. He ended up kicking four four points with two broken legs and shit. Like I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. So. Um, you know, if I, I guess AFL or rugby, I'd probably say AFL because I don't even understand the rules to rugby. So it wins by uh, by default. Go Saints. D3X original. Uh, what's your favourite TV series? I'd say it's a triple tie between The Wire, Breaking Bad, and Game of Thrones, with an honourable mention to you know The Sopranos and Twin Peaks. Dos Man Triple Six. If you were stuck on a desert island and you could take one thing, what would you take? Probably a speedboat. Jake and Kanae 23. What would you do if your arms got amputated? Uh, I'd learn to play Xbox with my feet real quick. Homeboy Patty Echo. Do you call us Lords as a Star Wars reference? As in Seth Lords. Sith. Sith Lords. I see what you're doing there. Not at all. That's just uh, a fortunate coincidence. Lords is just something that me and my mates say, but uh, apparently it's now Workaholics had Lords in it the other day, so you know that could be ruined. Uh, maybe we need something new. McDormat one two three, who does your cover art? Uh, that's a local Melbourne artist by the name of Jaggy. Um, he's uh, also designs iPhone games as well. Um, you, you should go to his website. I think it's Hello. Jaggyart.com. Um, check it out because he's fucking ridiculously talented and, and, and you know, he's really good. We work back and forth quite a lot on the album and, and try to incorporate a lot of the themes and stuff from from the music into the artwork so it's kind of all um, all connected, you know? Uh, but yeah, super, super talented dude. Jaggy. J A G I. Patrick Hamilton, do you play Battlefield 3 at all? Uh, tried to play it once. By myself, and I couldn't fucking find anyone. I was just running around these massive buildings. So, yeah, no, it looks like fun though. Here we go. Here's the final run. Dual FMGs, noob shit, bang. There's the Moab. Call that shit in and die for my sins for camping like a little biatch. 50 gig. Pose the question how many times have you watched Fight Club? So many times. If I could, lo if I could lobotomize the part of my brain that remembered the twist at the end of Fight Club. I would totally do that surgery because it's fucking awesome. Same with Usual Suspects as well. Um, I would I would have that taken out of my brain. Here's the transition. Yeah. And now we're playing bootleg. Um, would you, Mia Wilcox, would you prefer your first name to be dishwasher or refrigerator? Uh, well, fuck. Dishwasher, probably. Sounds better. I like dishwasher. In fact, feel free to call me dishwasher, hip hopper. Who can spit proper, cleaning food and drinks off ya. Yeah. Luke Schumach 25 with the most important question of our generation. Uh, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? 
Um, my mum used to read me the Lord of the Rings books when I was a kid. My dad used to watch uh, Star Wars with me. So these are very ingrained in my childhood, uh, very nostalgic to me. But, I mean, Boba Fett alone uh, gives Star Wars the win. Bib Halal, uh, who would you turn gay for? I would 100% um, absolutely um, become a lesbian for Portia de Rossi. What are your top three favorite condiments? Uh, my top three favorite condiments, uh, habanero sauce, uh, Tabasco sauce, shout out to my homie Tabasco sauce, I'll put that shit on fucking anything. Uh, and uh, my homie, Tommy, it's like a whole egg mayonnaise and it's just homey and you just pop a tea in front of that shit so you know it's good. Um, also a big fuck you to barbecue sauce and pineapple on pizza were on the topic and uh, apple in salad you texture changing motherfucker um, yeah. uh, Daniel Callen I saw this one posted last episode if your mum and your girlfriends changed bodies and the only way to change them back was to have sex with one of them which would you choose your mum in your girlfriend's body or your girlfriend in your mum's body um, look there's no girl that I've ever loved enough to have sex with my own mother to uh so I just leave it. I'd just go, alright, peace out. Um, you know, good luck with everything. And then I'd just say, There you go, mum, you get yourself a uh, you know, twenty year old's uh, body. Enjoy that. Happy birthday. Gabe Dornham. Uh Gabriel uh is my middle name. So that's a um that's a, that's something. That's a thing, that's a fact. Uh what was it like doing the mixtape with the Golden Era crew? Uh, man, I, I love those dudes, they're, they're my fucking homies. Me, Vents, Trials, and uh, K21 play Call of Duty on the regular, smoke motherfuckers. Um, gutted I couldn't be at the championships this year because I was overseas, but um, I hear Bliss and Esso filled in and they, they all fucking represented, but next year, man, we're going to fucking do it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it was, it was awesome fun doing the mixtape with those guys, and we got to rap about video games, which is perfect. Landy H. Pimps maker. Have you ever cupped a fart and thrown it at someone? Man, that's amateur hour. I can I can get a fart and and just sit it on the ground like a bouncing Betty, uh, like a or a proximity mine, and just leave it sitting there for, for weeks sometimes until some unsuspecting fool steps in it and it just explodes in his face. Um, so you know it's like. Okay. Evan Rock, did you play any sports growing up? Uh, I played football for a season, uh, and I was uh, fucking terrible. I think I kicked a point, actually, the whole season. Um, may have also kicked the ball the wrong way at one stage. You know, yeah, pathetic. But I also played roller hockey. Well, look at this final standard. I'm sorry. Death streaks. I mean, you know, fuck, you got to run, run run a death streak in this and I chose final stand and it's pathetic and I deserve to die but I'm gonna put it in the game I'm gonna abuse it um, I don't deserve this mower to be honest I should have died there. but anyway whatever uh, yeah roller hockey man I was actually pretty good at that um, and played that for a couple of seasons and I think I just I think mighty mighty I just wanted to be in the mighty ducks and we didn't have ice so I chose roller hockey instead watch this as well you want to see a dick tease there's the ballistic vest there. I'm so close to my mind, but I really want that ballistic vest. Start getting it, and then pff, just disappears. Jimmy Surtees asked, uh, when you're in Hobart, who won the sculling competition out of you and Jamoan? That's, that's right. Jamoan came to a show, which was awesome enough, but then we did a sculling com competition behind the bar, and I absolutely smoked him. In fact, you can see by this photo, that's me finishing off my pint and Jamoan having his first sip. Moab. Uh, that's been episode 4 of Questions with Seth Century. Thank you so much, Lords. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments section. And I'll see you next time. Peace!